Hey guys, today in this video I will be talking about how you can get these two super rare items. I already made a video on how to get to the Grim Force, so you can check the link in the description if you haven't watched the video or have not got to this place. So in order to uh, get to that place you either need a Misty Step or Triple Jump. At this point uh, everyone must have a Triple Jump or Misty Step available. A uh, scroll might also okay. work. If you don't have it, uh, you can take Nerys head off here. There is a quest here, and you can get uh, Misty Step uh, from him. So you just Misty Step here. A uh, triple jump might also work. There is also a mold here. Take it. I will tell you later what uh, mold uses. Forge your blade in the fires. And raise it in the mistress's name. Activate this name. waypoint. There is another mold here. Take it. So you come at this place and you will find the scale mill mold here. Uh, also keep in mind there are uh, a combat will trigger here. There are a couple of enemies here. So you have to defeat them. Activate the waypoint and group your party here. Now there are your whole party is here, we can find uh, Mithril Ore. In order to craft uh, uh, weapons in Adamantine Force, we need Mithril Ore or any kind of meal. So I know the location of two Mithril Ores. One is right here. You can ungroup your party so that they don't take lava damage. Just come right here. Axes and swords don't work on this uh, crystal like thing. So get the blending weapon or I shot it with crossbow and crossbow works for me. So it might not work for you but uh, blending weapon is way to go. There, there is your first mithril ore. I will not show you how to defeat the boss in this video because I already covered it but if you are finding any difficulties you can check them out. So this uh, uh, mithril ore can be a little difficult to acquire if you don't have splash damage or AOE damage. So get some wizards or uh, AOE damage in your party and it will be a lot easier. Again. Uh, there is another mithril warrior shoot it with crossbow or blending weapon you get your second mithril or So I made this chart guys and I have already covered how to get splint mold, scale mill mold and mace mold. It all depends upon your preference. I simply crafted the scale mill mold because it's a medium armor. Uh, because I'm a barbarian build, uh, it's not very efficient with heavy armor and while raging, uh, heavy armor does not work. So just uh, I crafted medium armor, but uh, depending upon your preference, uh, you can craft uh, two heavy armors or two medium. I simply crafted two me medium armors. Okay, now I will show you how to craft the armor and weapons in the Adamantine Forge. Simply click on Crucible, click on this, and put the Mithril Warrior. Click on Insert. Have to keep going. 
got this scale mill mode we just crafted the inventory you can see the, what scale mill does and what the helm does and how it looks now we craft another uh, scale mill mode Come on, for let's still in control so as usual Just. you put uh, the mithral ore in the crucible click on insert don't waste a step or then and the more shepherd you put uh, they still need the lava to find I simply, I simply want another yeah, pick it up, scale my bot and put it uh, again. If you want any the, uh, another weapon or armor, you put the mold there. Is that uh, and while equipping armor on this helmet, some spells might not work. So you have to look out for that. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.